Streets of New Capanna is the 92nd Magic the Gathering expansion and it's inspired by modern urban gangster movies. Thick like early 20th century boardwalk empire type stuff. The set comes out on April 29th, 2022 and when it does, Magic players are going to be traded to 5 mechanics, 4 of which are brand new. Let's start with that returning mechanic, Hideaway, which made its debut years ago in Lauren. Though the ability has gotten a slight tweak since its debut, back then, the ability was just Hideaway. Now it's Hideaway with a number behind it. It's an enters the battlefield triggered ability. And when a card with Hideaway number enters the battlefield, you look at the top number cards of your library. Exile one of them face down and put the rest on the bottom of your library. So if that number is Hideaway 5, you look at the top 5 cards of your library Exile one, put the other four on the bottom. And then once a certain condition is met, the player gets access to that card that has been hidden away. For example, on the creature card Wiretapping, which is Hideaway 5, it also says whenever you draw your first card during each of your draw steps, draw a card. Then, if you have nine or more cards in hand, you may play the exiled card without paying its mana cost. That means, for this example, if you have a hand of at least 9 cards, you then get access to that hideaway card. Next is Alliance, and it's an ability all about having a lot of creatures. In specific, Alliance highlights triggered abilities that trigger when another creature enters the battlefield under your control. Think of it almost like Landfall, but for creatures. And it's a pretty straightforward ability. And if you control multiple creatures that have an alliance ability and a creature comes into play under your control, all of those alliance abilities trigger and they can be put on the stack in any order. But keep in mind that the last one put on the stack will be the first to resolve. Furthermore, if you are casting a creature that has its own enter the battlefield ability, that trigger also gets thrown in the mix with all of the rest. The new Blitz mechanic is an alternate cost that appears on several creature cards, which means you could cast the creature for its normal traditional cost or you can play it for its Blitz cost. Either way, the mana value does not change. It's always going to be whatever it says at the top of the card. Using Blitz to cast a spell can do a number of things. First off, the creature gains haste and the ability, when it dies, draw a card. Now the blitzed creature will be sacrificed at the end step, so you're gonna get that card regardless. But if it dies before that, such as in combat or, or something in between, then you still get to draw that card. However, if the creature gets returned to its owner's hand or gets exiled, in other words, does not die, you will not get to draw that card. Something to keep in mind. Casualty is a new mechanic that's kind of reminiscent of Kicker in that it is an additional cost that appears on various spells. The way that additional cost works is, for cards with casualty, you have the option of sacrificing a creature of power equal to or greater than the casualty number. For example, on the card a little chat, gets casualty 1, meaning you can sacrifice a creature with power of 1 or greater, and there are casualty 2 and 3 and, and so on. Now, if you choose to do that, the triggered ability will create a copy of the spell being cast. And if that original spell required targets, you get to choose new targets for the copy. Now, this copy is not cast. It's actually just created and put directly onto the stack, meaning you can't do another casualty to make another copy of it. And also, because it is on the stack, it can be responded to and can even be countered as normal. Also, the copies will resolve before the original spell, because that's how the stack works. Connive is an interesting new mechanic that has payoffs in a couple of different ways. So when Connive fires off, this is what you do. First, you draw a card and then discard a card, which is a nice way of cycling through your hand to get to the cards you would rather have or to get rid of extra lands you might not need. However, if you choose to discard a non-land card, you then get to put a plus one plus one counter on the conniving creature, which in turn could make them more of a threat over time. By the way, a creature can connive even if it's not on the battlefield so long as the ability has triggered. So you will still get that card draw and card discard. However, obviously if the creature is not there, 
there's nothing to put a plus one plus one counter on if you chose to discard a non-land card. And finally, the last new mechanic being brought in with Streets of New Capanna are Shield Counters. Found mostly on creatures, though occasionally on other types of permanents, Shield Counters are designed to make it more difficult for your opponent to get rid of those permanents. How? Well, first, if a permanent with a Shield Counter on it would be destroyed by an effect, like say being on the receiving end of a Doom Blade, the Shield Counter is removed instead of the creature being destroyed. Also, if a creature or planeswalker has a shield counter on it and they receive damage, that damage is prevented and the shield counter is then removed. But just so you know, if that damage is unpreventable, the shield counter will be removed and the creature or planeswalker will be dealt damage because the shield counter was not allowed to prevent that damage. Also, each instance of damage or destruction will only remove a single shield counter. So, if you have something with more than one shield counter on it, it still only triggers once per instance. And that can keep your permanents around much longer than your opponent might like. So there you have it, the four brand new and one returning mechanic that will be found in Streets of New Capanna when it releases April 29th, 2022. I'm Barry White from Magic Untapped. Thank you for watching.